Hello and welcome to this presentation of Excel to Sage. My name is Aura Martirosian and I'm going to show you how easy it is to import your web shop information into Sage 50 using the Excel to Sage automation module. So what's Excel to Sage? Uh, it's a very powerful import utility which allows you to integrate external systems into Sage 50, 200 or 1000. It's things like EPOS, web shops, billing systems, but it's also used by various third party applications, things like Handshake, which is an iPad order taking application for Sage, or the open EDI solution, which allows you to bring EDI orders from retailers into Sage. It works on pretty much <coughs> any file format, so everything from an Excel file to an XML file, which is what we're going to have a look at in a second, or a comma separated values CSV file. It also has a more powerful version, which is a SQL to Sage product, which allows you to bring in information directly from a SQL database into Sage. So what imports are available? Well, it depends on the version of Sage that you have, but here's an example for Sage 50 version 2013. And you can see you can bring in everything from customer supplies, products, projects, but more importantly, the day to day transactions like sales orders, purchase orders, service invoices, product invoices, and so on. So these are what the files look like. The top left is a standard Excel file with column headings and data. The bottom left is a CSV file, which uh, basically has the data separated with a comma. And the bottom right is an XML file, which is a little bit more verbose, and it shows you what the data format is. So how would you use this import? Well, you would use it to import customers, predominantly from the web shop first, followed by the orders and it works seamlessly. So it uses the Excel automation module, which then is triggered with a task scheduler from Windows. So you can have it bringing in information every five minutes, 10 minutes, or as frequently as you want. You also get an email confirmation of the import, uh, which uh, also uh, allows you to check things that have gone in. And as I said before, it's available for other Sage products. So hey, let's have a quick look at these. So here's Sage 50 with two customers in it. And what we're going to do is we're going to import these two files. So here's a customer file, and let's have a quick look at that in Notepad. There we go. That's what that looks like. And if I did the same thing on the sales orders, I had a look at that in Notepad. That's what the order looks like. So let's go and import these. Now, Normally you'd have this on a task scheduler, so I've set this up already, but I've disabled it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and manually run the customer's one. So off it goes, it'll go and have a look at the XML file, and it'll then just import those. So let's have a quick look at that. There we are. Those are the four customers just been imported. And let's have a look at the sales orders. We'll do exactly the same thing. I'll just go and import that manually. Off it goes and it picks up the sales orders and brings them in. So let's have a look at that. There we are. And you also get an email confirmation in the background. So that's the email telling us the sales orders have come in. And that's the email telling us the customers have come in. Very powerful and very simple. So very quick and cost effective. It's incredibly easy to use and very quick to set up, typically less than half a day. And we also have the uh, facility to change things very quickly. And there are various different add-ons. So for example, Sage, doesn't, Sage 50 doesn't allow you to do back-to-back -back purchase orders on the back of a sales order. We can easily do that with, uh, with our Excel to Sage product. Makes processing very efficient, gets rid of manual data entry errors, and uh, it's very quick. So thank you for your interest in uh, Excel to Sage. I hope you found this presentation of interest uh, and please feel free to email me with your specific requirements and we'll be happy to uh, help you uh, achieve your goals. Thank you for your time.